ang panglimang hapi si San Jose ay yung matanggap ang tinig ng anghel na nagsabi sa kanya, Umangon ka, dalhin mo ang mag-ina sa Ehipto upang iligtas sa karahasan sa pagtatangka ni Herodes. Bumangon ka, umalis ka sa sariling bayan, at pumunta ka sa ibang bayan na wala kang kakilala, wala kang kamag-anak, wala kang kaibigan, sapagkat doon ay ligtas kayong pamilya. Ano ang bunga nito para sa kanya? Ang bunga nito ay nararanasan nating lahat. Loneliness. Homesickness. Pangungulila. Yung sa gabi ay hindi ka makatulog, baling sa kaliwa, baling sa kanan, nakatingin ka sa kisame, hindi ka makatulog. Parang iniisip mo, saan papunta ang buhay ko? Parang wala akong pupuntahan. Noong ko ay mas batang pare, akala ko ang loneliness ay para sa mga batang katulad namin noon. Kasi nung bata kami, ang loneliness ay medyo romantic. Ang loneliness ay yung restlessness na gusto mong magmahal pero hindi mo, hindi mo kayang magmahal. Gusto mong yakapin ang lahat pero hindi pwede. Gusto mong makipagkaibigan sa lahat pero hindi pwede. Gusto mong makipagtalik sa lahat pero hindi pwede. There is energy, there is restlessness, there is power that is surging forth, and yet you're not able to express. And that brings so much loneliness. In the words of St. Augustine, Our hearts are restless, O Lord, until they rest in you. Restlessness is normal. When we have peace moments, when we have rested moments, those are special moments. But restlessness is part of our lives. Kung meron tayo mga pagkakataong tahimik, papayapa, at hindi tayo binabagabag, special moment lang po yun. Sapagkat tayong lahat ay mananatiring less, restless, hindi mapakali, sapagkat meron tayong hinahanap. Ngayon, ako ay senior citizen na, pero napalitan yung mukha ng loneliness. Hindi na loneliness na romantic. Hindi na loneliness na energy. Hindi na, eh, hindi na loneliness na power wanting to be shared. Hindi na loneliness na restlessness na parang gusto mo pang magbigay pero wala nang gustong tumanggap. Loneliness has taken another form. And what is that loneliness? It is the loneliness of living in community with some irreconcilable differences. Living in community even if you do not agree. Living in community of 100 persons with 100 opinions. Living in community, living in unity, even if you are different from one another. It is lonely. Bakit? Kasi gusto natin magkaisa. Pero yung pagkakaisa natin ay iba ang nagiging anyo. Iba't iba tayo. Gusto natin magkaisa. Pero parang hindi magkaisa sapagkat iba-iba tayo ng pananaw. Isang ating tinitingnan. Pero iba-iba tayo ng mata na ginagamit. Kaya, para bagang hindi magkaintindihan o hindi naunawaan. At pag dumating yung yugtong ito, you're still lonely. Not in the romantic sense, but in the sense of being separated. In the sense of not being understood. In the sense of wanting to understand and not being able to understand. But, whether it is the loneliness of the romantics or the loneliness of the disagreements in community, there is only one solution to loneliness. 
Loneliness is a cry of the soul, longing for something higher than itself, and that something higher than the soul is the Lord. My dear younger brothers and sisters, younger friends, tandaan ninyo, sa ating kabataan, it is the Lord. Sa ating pagtanda at pagkakaiba-iba natin, parang pag-aaway-away natin, it is still the Lord. It is only the Lord who can satisfy our longing to be whole. Nasaan tayo ngayon? Maaring tayo na sa sariling bayan, pero tayo ay palaging merong ehipto sa isang bahagi ng ating puso. Yung hindi tayo magkaintindihan, yung mayroong lakas pero walang gustong tumanggap, yung mayroong pag-ibig pero walang gustong tumanggap sa iyo, yung gusto mong mahalin, subalit parang kulang ang pagmamahal na tinatanggap mo. All of these spaces in our lives, all of this emptiness in our lives, all of this loneliness in our lives, all these Egypts in our lives, only the Lord can fill. It is the Lord, and only in the Lord can our loneliness be satisfied. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube, and I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the Church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.